Hey kids, if you saw one of my recent unboxings from uh, HamiltonBook.com, you know that I picked up this double feature, Dan Curtis double feature with Jack Palance in both Dracula and The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, I decided to uh, check out the one movie that I've didn't see <laughs> uh, and that's the strange case of dr jekyll and mr hyde uh this i believe is a 1968 production for abc uh yeah 1968 it's a co-production with canada canadian and american production it's directed by uh charles jarrett I think that's how you pronounce his name. Dan Curtis is the producer. Da, 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 da. The writer. I'm the, oh, Ian McKellen Hunter. Ian McKellen. Not sure if that's... Yeah, th this movie is two hours long. Just a solid two hours long. That is not a problem for me because the movie's so fucking good. I, I was shocked at how good this was. This is a TV movie shot on video. Uh, the worst part of that is the, the flares. Like if, there, if there's a flame and there's a flare, you know, it's that old, old style uh, uh, video quality. Uh, but the way it's shot, the way, you know, camera movements, uh, the production design and the execution of that design is exceptional it is on the level of a uh, theatrical shot on film production uh i wasn't expecting that and knowing me i'm excited by that alone so my interest <laughs> in it was you know spot on i mean there's a base to it on top of that base is the exceptional performance i have to watch more jack palin's uh performances uh in quality productions he did a lot of cheesy crap after a while but uh i didn't realize how good of an actor he was until i saw him in this movie uh now hyde is a little bit easier he's able to just you know, go nuts uh, in that role. But uh, Henry Jekyll, his Henry Jekyll, I mean, you know, the guy looks imposing because especially for the roles he uh, has done and he's often known for, uh, but he pulls off this rather meek, uh, I would say maybe even nerd from... Uh, a 19th century uh, perspective, you know, a doctor uh, exploring uh, something that he believes is positive, uh, and it becomes destructive. What ends up happening is, you know, the usual thing. He drinks a potion that he feels that will bring out these baser instincts, and Hyde is. Uh, is uh, created. Uh, now, I read part of the book, and first of all, you'd be surprised what Hyde is supposed to look like. Uh, they never get it right. You can't really judge it, you know, judge it as an adaptation as much. Plus, uh, Billy Whitelaw, It plays Gwen Thomas. Uh, Billy, we all know, us horror fans know, as the uh, the uh, nanny of Damien Thorne in the original uh, The Omen. And uh, she plays a, a, kind of a showgirl that Hyde uh, ends up starting a relationship with. Uh, I believe I had read in the, the book I, uh, I own of uh, the story, 
uh, the beginning tells about the history and such of it. Uh, she doesn't appear in the book, apparently. And it's actually from another story, from another author, that they blended in together. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I think I'm right. Uh, the other extremely exceptional performance, yeah, Billy is very good in this. But Denholm, Denholm Elliott, as you know, pretty much his you know, best friend, George Devlin, Uh, he's amazing in this. There, there's several other uh, character actors. I, I'll, I've just, you know, I'm not gonna read them off, but it, you know, this is high level acting. You know, everybody's really serious. They come to work and and do, you know, the be, you know, the best uh, job. But Jack Palance just blew me away, as mostly Jekyll. Uh, his transformation. Uh, into the character was done by Dick Smith. I mean, we're talking about, you know, giants <laughs> of, you know, genre movies uh, coming together on this. Uh, especially, you know, Dan Curtis is known for you know, horror movies like crazy. Uh, you know, especially after Dark Shadows, that's, you know, that's where he started being the horror master. Um, but, you know, but you have Dick Smith and, you know, <laughs> and, it, and the makeup's good. It's, it's one of those, uh, situations where it, uh, it looks, it's, it's good enough to change you can actually believe it's a different person, even and especially the personality is, is you know, uh, radically changed. I mean, the, at first Hyde comes off as a just a boisterous, loud, uh, party animal. You know that's what attracted uh, uh, Billy uh, Whitelaw in the first place. They, you know, he threw money around and, you know. Uh, and there's always, you always feel like there's a potential for violence uh, with him. Uh, the authorities are concerned because, you know, they want to know where he get, gets his money and all that type of stuff. So they start snooping around. Uh, there's a very upsetting scene uh, with, yeah, with another, I mean, a cherry on top of the upsetting you know, disturbing and unfortunate uh, uh, situation. Uh, Hyde ends up getting, you know, his violence just starts erupting. Uh, out of a jealous rage, he beats uh, uh, Gwyn Thomas severely. Uh, uh, they cut away to the street and a... Uh, Constable on patrol hears her screams. He sort of chuckles to himself and keeps on walking. Yeah, uh, this is an exceptional production. Uh, uh, I don't know why people don't talk about it more. Uh, IMDb, uh, the rating is is low. <laughs> Yeah. Six. It has a six. Oh, six point eight. I think it says. No, this it should be higher. <laughs> this is a very good production. It might actually win out on favorite uh, in this pack. I've loved, you know. Well, at least I've enjoyed Dan Curtis's, Curtis's uh, Dracula quite a lot throughout the years uh didn't see it originally was planning on but detroit had a blackout that night so i had to catch it on a repeat <laughs> such is life well and yep i got this uh i can't remember the price but i got this from uh hamiltonbook.com and i'm extremely satisfied
Uh, well, until next time, stay safe. Knows I have a good time. Bye now.